Hello everyone. Hope you're doing good today. It's Sunday, August 3rd. And um, I just wanted to say that, you know, uh, today is my dad's 71st birthday. He passed away three years ago. And right now I am just walking around in a reflecting garden. And I just noticed that the abelias are blooming. This one is a kaleidoscope abelia, and you can see that they've got these beautiful little clusters of white flowers. Let's see if I can focus on it a little bit. Well, my hand is making it focus. And I mean, they're about to. Oh, there's so many blooms here. I'm kind of excited about that. So, yesterday I had transplanted or I had a fire chief hyperbide here on this side of the abelia and one on this side over here and I ended up moving it I was putting it into a I was going to put it into these pots here and what I ended up doing was not doing that I thought because I had two soft touch hollies over here I had one here and I had another one over there and I ended up doing was putting the f fire chief hybridities there so that way it gives off a little bit of color interest because we've got a soft touch here and now we'll have that there and so I'm kind of happy about that so these get about these soft touches will get about two to three feet wide and so I thought it would be really nice in this pot giving it an opportunity to be um, in that space and I can just prune it and make it round and make it look cool so I'm pretty happy about that let me come over here on this side of the tree and I'll show you so I'm hoping that that'll fill up really nicely so I've got that there looks pretty cool right okay and those are some creeping jennies growing at the base of Mat Mat, our tree Mat Mat. It's an apple tree here. And I'm hoping that she'll continue to spread and fill up as a nice ground cover. I'm hoping to get some tulips to put in there for the spring of next year. So we'll see how that turns out. But, um, okay. So, there's some beautiful monarch butterflies. You see those? Oh, love it. <laughs> But I wanted to show you that the, I was just talking about the abelia, kaleidoscope abelia. Here's the other one over here, and she's looking really pretty. Look at that. And the butterflies were just on it, so I was hoping to capture it and show you. They like that butterfly. The butterflies like this one as well. But that looks really nice. Well, this will be a very short video, nothing nothing really major to announce here. I'm hoping to keep ripping up this grass here, keep going across and just meet up there and just rip that all up so that way the beds get a little bit more wider and give the, uh, the abelia a little bit more opportunity to spread out and these beautiful coral drift rose bushes as you can see, look at the brilliance of that. And they've performed, they've bloomed four times this year. They went to sleep, they came back, they went back to sleep, they came back, and they are just really popping. All right. Just really happy with this abelia. Sorry, I, I kind of went sidetracked there a little bit, but I wanted to explain that this little empty spot here was, had the fire chief, uh, Ibrovide, and I think that's the right approach for this space because they were starting to get a little crammed and I I kind of measured for that, but I didn't measure for the abelia. And I think she gets a little bit more bigger and I want her to be comfortable and spread out really nicely. Um, I will, I'm trying to remember the habit. I think the growth habit is about four feet, three to four feet wide. And it gets about three, two to three feet tall and she almost also has a variegated leaf. So you can see right here that it's green and uh, beautiful, like a chartreuse green. So you got deeper green and then a, like a yellowish green or chartreuse. 
uh, leaf stem habit. Let me see here. Let me go back over here. You can see that so nicely. So I think that's going to look really nice in the fall. They turn a little bit more orange. Uh, the tips and I think that's going to be another beautiful feature of this plant and um, Yeah, I think it's the right choice So in a couple of days, I got to give my elbow a rest. I've heard it So I'm, once I get that I'm gonna rip this up so that way I have some um, more space for them and That's about it guys. I Appreciate you always supporting me in my video. It's very kind and very sweet um space for me to have people you know subscribe and and support me in, in this way it helps really really appreciative of that so thank you for your time and i don't take it for granted and um hope you are all enjoying your gardening time out here okay catch you on the next one bye Like it snapped right there. And it snapped right there. So I don't know what I was gonna do. All the water's going down the down the uh, got the mulch. Making a barrier of some kind. So what I'm going to grab now is, this is where the original hole was. So I'm just going to grab this PVC piping. I'm going to grab my mallet and I'm just going to bang it into the ground and just get it down enough so that way there is some stability going on sorry my camera I'm holding my camera with my hand so um so if my hand is shaking like a fool here it's because I'm trying to bang it with the um with one hand on the rubber mallet and the phone but basically what I want to try to do is make sure that that's a little bit more sturdier and stiff so I'm going to keep banging it and then what I'll end up doing is grabbing these little straps screwing it into the PVC piping just to assure that it will grab the, I guess the H, um, the horizontal bar on the trellis. And my concern is that I may have needed, may need to go a little bit taller, but we'll see. Let's see so what happens. This is what I was able to do, guys. I got the bracket, put it on the PVC piping just wraps around the horizontal um, pipe. One down here as well, and one right here as well. And this is where the, ouch, the leaf has the thorn there. This is where the pipe corroded and snapped. Same over here. And this one over here had a slight snap. Um, and over here, but the corrosion happened more and down into the ground. So anyway, uh, it's not as pretty as I would like it to be, but at the end of the day, it's very, I can't say it's very sturdy, but it's a little bit more sturdier than it was. So we'll see what happens because the storm is coming tomorrow. So I'll keep you posted on it. Looks cool. All right, guys, catch you on the next one. Bye.